Oh, guys, so we're looking at this so-called weak heal. Um, the, this guy is saying that the next characters are being in Smash Brothers. Is the first character is Crash Bandicoot, which I think has a very high chance of being the next character. I don't think he's guaranteed like what some people think he is. Trino Sakurai is a pretty tricky man to protect T. You know, everybody was saying that Coast Bolsters or Dante was being the next fighter, but they weren't the next fighters in Smash Bros. at all. You know, and, that, and of course, Crash Bandicoot could be the next character, but he could not. Okay, Sakurai is a pretty tricky man. Okay, so of course, take this week of every other, like of every other week of a grain of salt. So next is Dante from Devil May Cry. I do believe that he may, he'll probably be in Smash Bros. Wouldn't be surprised if he's in Smash Bros. So, yeah, Zeno. I think that I don't know. This Zeno's a pretty tough one because he's a spirit, and we don't know if spirits he can throw kills with DLC or not. We haven't had a case where spirit has decaphobed the character. I know, I know, those you know, spirits don't really matter because Rukus in Smash Four was a trophy, and he was part of character as a playable character. So I don't really think spirits. Having a character as a spirit doesn't really matter as much as being a new character, like for like if Dino's case and Roy Irving's case, as it's as well with he's on this list as well. I don't know if Roy Irving's even a spirit either. So, the Roy Irving's a me costume. That's what he is, a me costume. I forgot. But Zeno, he's a spirit. And thing with you know, in Zeno is he's a requested character mostly from you know older people. You know, who are found in the original Mario RPG game. Uh, Zeno's a pretty hard character as well, because I just don't think, you know, you know, Zeno might not be in Smash Bros. due to the various reason. It's because he's a Square Enix, because, you know, he is a Square Enix character. First of all, and of course, Mario had, and he hasn't been relevant since Mario RPG. They even replaced him out the mini game that he was in in Mario Superstar Saga, the remake of it. You know, Zeno has been gone from Nintendo history, basically. But these have some Mario RPG and Smash Bros. as a spirit. Okay, next is Owl from Puyo Puyo. I think that this probably has... Owl is probably, could probably be in the game. Considering that, you know, Nintendo does put characters that people in Japan want. Owl is a player requested character in Japan. Not many people are requesting Owl in, you know, this game. Reimu... Reimu from Toho series. I think that this has a chance that Reimu has a chance of being in Smash Bros. Don't think it's a very high chance, but has a small he has a small chance of being in Smash Bros. And last but not least is Roy Irving. I think Roy, all these characters are actually characters that could be it could be in Smash Bros. It isn't like a bunch of bullshit characters they can't say, oh, it's gonna be in Smash Bros. Okay, Bugsy is gonna be in Smash Bros. Or you know, Goku's gonna be in Smash Bros. Okay. You know, the more ridiculous choices, or the most ridiculous, the Fortnite guy, okay? Roy Irving, I think these are all pretty relevant choices. Roy Irving is the most requested character, I think, in Japan. So, I think that Roy Irving does have a pretty high chance than most people think. He is in a V costume, which does devaluate his chances, as he haven't really had a character that has been, you know, that has been confirmed as a Mii costume, and has been introduced later on. So, what do you think about this week? Do you think this week is a bunch of, you know, bullcrap? Or do you think this week is very real? So, what do you think about this week? Do you think it's, you know, week that's like fake? Like, have we had a 410 week we've gone over in the past? Or do you think there's some truth to it? But, considering that all the weeks from 410 have been proven fake, uh, I'm really towards fake. Goodbye.